from Phoenix Shaving, celebrating their 10th anniversary in business, 10 years of epic, the Artifact Safety Razor. We're going to shave with it, coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and Witchavers everywhere. It's BarbaraGeorgeToon.com. I'm back with another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by. Love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. We have a brand new, very special safety razor in the shave den. Before we get to that, hey, thanks so much for stopping by. If this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos. And also, please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, Phoenix Shaving is celebrating their 10th anniversary in business, 10 years of epic, as Douglas, as Douglas, Fran, and Huxley would say. And to celebrate, they released this razor right here, the Artifact. Isn't this a beautiful case? A beautiful, beautiful padded travel case of sorts. It's got a beautiful zipper. Let me show you this right here. You unzip it like this. Look at that. You open it up, ooh, inside there. <laughs> inside there is a polishing cloth. I'll show that to you right now. Okay, here's the polishing cloth. Okay, we also previewed this on Monday Morning Mailbag, but I'll show that to you. Isn't that great, huh? Um, okay, a decade of different right there, celebrating 10 years in business. That's fantastic. Let me just set this aside right here like that, off to the side. And when you open it up, it has this padded lid, so to speak, and there is a sticker in there, right? Okay, and here is a certificate that explains the contents of what you're holding here, a little history of the razor, the materials that it's made from, that sort of thing, and that is really, really nice, some really nice, valuable information there. I'm going to set that aside as well, and I'm going to set the sticker aside so we can get right to the contents. There you are. There you have uh, 15 strings with razor blades, and here it is, the Artifact Safety Razor. Now they have a little bit of a pull strap here because that is a really nice snug fit. So I'm just going to pull that up, and the razor comes right out. Okay, isn't that a beautiful case? <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful case. And we're going to set this aside as well. I'm going to zip that back up, and we're going to set this aside and kind of get it off to the side there. Here it is right here. The Artifact Safety Razor. It's a three-piece open comb safety razor and it's made from polyoxybenzylmethylenglycolin hydride, more commonly known as Bakelite. Yes, absolutely beautiful. It is lightweight, but it has a solid gold-plated brass cap. Isn't that beautiful? Let's just take a look at it here. There's the handle. And you know it's Bakelite because there are no seams. Bakelite does not have any seams. Now, if you want to know the history, there it is right there. If you want to know the history of Bakelite, Bakelite was created or invented in 1907 by a gentleman named Leo Bakeland. And he patented it in uh, 1909, December 7th, 1909. And it's really the first plastic. And because of its... Well, because of its heat-resistant properties, its non-conductivity, it became a great commercial success that was used in electric insulators, radio and telephone casings, uh, kitchenware, jewelry, and of course, wet shaving gear. Uh, it was invented by Leo Bakelin, as I say, out of Yonkers, New York. And uh, you see a lot of wet shaving gear from that period moving forward into the 1940s, 1950s. Uh, and especially in the 1940s, because uh, a lot of a lot of razor manufacturers turned to Bakelite uh, because of steel ration, rationing uh, for the war effort. So they turned to so they turned to Bakelite uh, for constructing their razors. And uh, this is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful razor. It's got a real nice vintage vibe to it. I have it. I have it. Uh, take it apart here because we're going to load a blade in it. Uh, well, you know what, let's, blow, let's load the blade right now and kind of get that out of the way. I got the information here. We're going to go ahead and use a strangelet razor blade here that's already opened up. So let's go ahead and oh, let's go ahead and load that up so you can see it. 
and then we can talk about it a little more. Okay, if you saw the Monday morning mailbag, I gave a real nice breakdown of this uh, razor. Here is the blade right here, strange lip blade, and we're going to put it in the cap like that, okay? And here is the, uh, the base plate right there, and that goes on there like that. Nice, nice, nice snug fit. And here's the handle, okay? And just snug it up. <laughs> that is really nice. Blade balance and alignment spot on. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, end tabs, <clears throat> excuse me, end tabs are exposed a little bit, but not a deal breaker. Of course, this is based on a vintage design. Now, as Douglas wrote here in that informational sheet that you saw me pull out of the case there, uh, it said, he says right here, the artifact is based on an extremely rare and obscure safety razor. So much so, any background information is lost to time. If I were to guess based on the materials, however, I'd speculate the design to be 80 to 90 years old. So that's where the inspiration from this razor comes from. And it is lightweight. There is weight from the cap, the brass, the gold-plated brass cap. So there is some weight forward that will help allow the razor to... Uh, to uh, let the weight of the razor do all the work, gentlemen, that sort of thing. And as he writes here, the artifact, sensual and efficient in its timeless function and form, smooth in performance and harmonious in its balance. Uh, the Bakelite handle is completely solid and the decorative gold-plated brass top cap not only adds a splash of elegance, but just enough weight to aid in the shave. Obscure retro tech at its finest. Absolutely, I couldn't have said it better. Absolutely fantastic. Let me set that information aside. And we're going to get to the shave. We're going to use, well, <laughs> we're going to use Black Shroud. Yeah, because this was, uh, this is an homage to Wood Cube by Fabergé, the only scent that Dean Martin ever wore. And since it was released in 1944, this is going to pair up well with the razor because Bakelite was popular during the 40s, during those war years. So that's why we're using this particular shave soap. I got some hot water on top of the puck. We're going to be doing a face lather. I got my Doppler uh, shaving brush with a butterscotch handle. Thanks, Mom. It's soaking right now. We're going to kick it off with the Cube 2.0. I also have my brush scuttle uh, with some hot water in there to keep everything nice and warm. We're going to finish it off, obviously, with uh, my uh, Allen block, the no-slip grip and the dry dock system, but also the black shroud aftershave and cologne. And also, for upstairs, a little bit of the mentholated Mysterium serum that is fragrance-free might add a little bit of splash of the uh, black shroud to that for upstairs. We'll see how things go. All right, so we've got the blade loaded. We've got the razor to go. I've already had a shave with this razor. It was beautiful. I had a beautiful three-pass BBS shave with this razor, and I had about one day's worth of growth, as I recall. This time around, I had about a day and a half as you can see. So let's get to, let's wet the face and let's get to the shave. Okay, here's my cube 2.0. You can see I've been using this guy. Look at that, huh? Love the cube. Now, the first use of the cube that I like to mention is to clean the face, to degrease it, and kind of get the skin and the beard ready. All right, let's rinse. Okay, now we'll apply it a second time and work it into a nice pre shave base. Oh, that's good. All right. I got an extra towel here to rinse off my hand, to dry off my hands, rather, after rinsing my hands. We've got the uh, hot water on top of the black shroud puck there. We're going to dump that in there. Gonna get my Doppler shaving brush. 
butterscotch handle. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and just load it. This is Formula CK6. And what's nice is you don't have to load a lot. I sometimes overload because I'm on camera, but you know what? This time around, not going to do that. That's all we're going to use just to show you how great this shave soap is. I'm going to need some water. Little more. It's always better to add water than to have to add soap. So Love CK6. Boom, lather, look at that. Look how fast, huh? Is that? <laughs> and you saw I didn't swirl that much and look how much you got. Beautiful, beautiful. The CK6, the synthetic brush, the cube, and they all come together to just really create a rich, creamy, cushiony lather. Absolutely wonderful. All right, this is going to go into the brush scuttle where it will stay nice and warm. We're ready to go. Okay, we are definitely ready to go. I'm just going to dry my hand off a little bit. Okay, grip is not bad. It is a smooth handle. Lightweight, we're going to heat this under some hot, 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 hot water. And, oh, that's terrific. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That is wonderful. That's like a hot knife through butter. I'm not pressing at all. There is just enough weight there to allow the razor to do all the work. Absolutely fantastic, mild, efficient shave. Good blade feel. But not overly so, if you know what I mean. Terrific, terrific. By the way, no tugging or pulling on the neck at all. I have enough slickness to kind of go over that area there. I'm using a light touch and this razor did a superlative job of getting up underneath the nostrils and getting all those little bits. If this were a one-pass shave, you would be able to get all that out of there. That's fantastic. Let me set it over there like that. First pass done. Let's rinse. Yeah, I'm right in a socially acceptable range. I could probably, could probably run out the door if I really had to. All right, but I'm going to need a second pass. I'm going to put a little more water on the brush. These strings with blades are really, really very, very nice. Pairs up wonderfully with this razor. And the second pass, second shaving pass, as I've always said, is usually my money pass. I'll know whether or not this 
shave is done. And believe me, I, it, <laughs> it gave me a really good first pass, even though I have about a day and a half worth of beard growth. Now I did the first time I used it, I did a third pass just to see how close and comfortable it would be. And boy, it was just terrific. But even on that shave, I probably didn't need the third pass, but I did it just to, uh, you know, take it for a, a nice test drive, kind of take it through its paces. Now the handle, uh, offers a somewhat nice grip. You want to probably dry your hand off if you, if, uh, if you've got really, really soft water and the lather comes through as being very, very slick. But uh, right now, I've got city water here with no water softener, and the grip seems to be very, very good. All right, we're going to go with uh, pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Well, that's, that's, that's terrific. That really is. I'm just using a light touch. I am not bearing down on this at all. The, the, the razor head, the razor is doing all the work. No tugging or pulling on the neck at all. <laughs> That's absolutely wonderful. And again, enough slickness there, enough little bit of lather where I can kind of go over those areas. And I'm just checking the razor head, nice and snug. Hey, oh, beautiful! Just it once you snug it up, it's in place. All right. Now, again, I got the majority of the, the whiskers uh, up underneath the nostrils there and on the upper, upper lip. We'll just do this lightly. <laughs> no need, really. Maybe a few stray ones here and there, but really nothing to write home about. It got everything on that first pass. Second pass done. Let's rinse. This shave is done. <laughs> this shave is done. No kidding. I'm not kidding you. I could probably do a third pass and just do a little touch up here and there, but I think that is going to retract and I'm going to get a really nice BBS shave from this. Uh, this razor is super, super efficient. Day and a half worth of beard growth and it just knocked it down. Smooth, comfortable, no tugging, no pulling. Absolutely wonderful. We're going to do our two final rinses, one warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. Well, I tell you, that's a lot of slickness there. I'm going to flip it to the cold water side. It took a lot of rinsing to get that slickness off my face. Wonderful, wonderful slickness from Formula CK6. Fantastic. Now, the Cube 2.0 is mentholated, so I'm going to get a little bit of kick from the cold water. All right, there it is. There's the cold water. Here's my cold water rinse. Oh, 
Oh boy. Oh, oh boy, that was great. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Fantastic. Boy, that's that's great. And yeah, I gotta I gotta get the lather here because I do over lather. But man, man, that's a razor. Wow. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I just, that's, that's great. That's an absolutely wonderful, wonderful result. Beautiful. <laughs> absolutely beautiful. We're going to get my alum lock here with the no slip grip and the dry dock system. And we're going to go ahead and run this under some cold water and get some feedback. All righty, here we go. Boy, that's smooth as ice. There's no stinging. There's no zinging. I was so looking forward to this shave. I wanted to knock that beard down. Wow. I couldn't. I just didn't want to go another day. I just didn't want to. That's fantastic. That's marvelous. That's beautiful. Man, no stinging, no zinging. Just nice and smooth and some nice bracing. Here's the dry dock. Here's the Allen Block from Phoenix Shaving. Uh, Allen Block, no slip grip, and the dry dock system from Phoenix Shaving, in case you're wondering. Just put it in there and let the air in the room do the rest of the work in drying it out. See, because the dry dock is ventilated. See that? Just put it in there like that, and you're good to go. Wow, let's take a look at the brush. Of course, Black Shroud, CK6. It's just marvelous. Look. Look, look at that. Huh? Look at that. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, fantastic, fantastic shaving soap. Nice and warm. Still nice and warm from the, uh, from the brush scuttle. Boy, that's one of my favorite pieces of shaving gear. And you can get one from Phoenix Shaving. I'll link it below. It's fantastic. I'll link, link Phoenix Shaving as well. It's just a general link. And you can go up there and look around and Search out Black Shroud, the Brush Scuttle, the Shaving Brush, and the Artifact Razor. Boy, this did a great, great job. Here, I'll give you another look at the cap there and how the end tabs protrude. You can feel them a little bit, much in the style of a Gillette Super Speed, right? Uh, or Gillette Tech. And uh, really, doesn't get in the way at all. Uh, you know, it just... Just a terrific, terrific design to the razor. Just absolutely beautiful. Handle is fine. Look at it. I mean, just got that retro look to it. Yeah, just fantastic. Let me set it down right there. Here we go with the uh, aftershave and cologne. Boy, that's terrific. Oh, it's a fantastic scent. I can understand why Dino loved it so much. Yeah, here we go. Wow, that's great. <laughs> oh, man. Marvelous. Marvelous. Man. <laughs> and it's got a nice kick to it. Got a little bit of a kick there. That's great. That's great. At least I'm feeling a little bit of a kick. Here is my mentholated Mysterium Serum right here. A little bit for upstairs. And, yeah, you know what? I'm going to take a... Just a drop or two like that. So we get a little bit of a scented balm up there. Great shave, the artifact. What a wonderful, wonderful, mild, highly efficient razor made from Bakelite. Wow, you know, a lot of wet shavers out there uh, love to collect these Bakelite razors and cases. And here you have one offered by Phoenix Shaving. 
uh, manufactured in the 21st century. So if you're a Bakelite fan, check this out. Not only is it very stylish and elegant, but it also delivers a wonderful, wonderful shave. Uh, you know, after shaving with it, it makes me want to get a second one, one for home, one for travel, because this will travel very, very well due to its lightweight yet highly efficient nature. No tugging, no pulling at all. Gave me a beautiful, beautiful shave. I'm on my way to BBS. No kidding. Really, really terrific. I mean, wonderful, wonderful razor. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Fantastic, fantastic shave. Wow. Uh, kudos to Doug, Fran, Huxley, and everyone at Phoenix Shaving for a really fantastic 10th anniversary razor celebrating Phoenix Shaving's 10 years in business. Wow. They have really provided some wonderful artisan shave soaps and some awesome wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave and here to celebrate their 10th anniversary. Uh, they've knocked it out of the park again with the Artifact Safety Razor. Uh, <laughs> love this razor. Absolutely love this razor. And as I say, uh, you know, it's lightweight, but my goodness, is it efficient. The weight of this cap does offer just enough to allow the weight of the razor to do all the work. Really, really something. And of course, Bakelite. I mean, uh, what better way to uh, celebrate 10 years uh, in business and to offer a Bakelite razor, which, because we know Bakelite is really, really highly prized among collectors. You can get one brand new from Phoenix Shaving. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you all the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Check out all the wonderful artisan soap makers you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They offer, they make some wonderful, wonderful artisan shave soap, and they offer some awesome wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. Please, when you get a chance, go up online, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady, where you'll find all the products I review in this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.